have to admit to being just a little bit obsessed with the wider 150. It's a beautiful yacht, beautiful design, great concept. I produced a video about it when the idea was first conceived. I produced another video about it uh, when the boat was already being constructed. And those videos together have had almost a quarter of a million views now. The Rob Report published a video produced by Wider that had almost a hundred thousand views in one day. Now that tells me that people really do like this yacht and they're interested in it to see what progress is being made. So I'm driving down the Adriatic coast of Italy today, down to Ancona to take a look at the yacht, to see the progress that's being made and to report back to you on it. One of the most significant developments with the yacht is that these propeller pods have now been fitted. Now these are big pieces of equipment that were put, brought to the shipyard, fitted in and are now connected to some massive electric cables which go to the battery bank and then onto the generators. Now the batteries are installed, the generators were installed quite some time ago when I was last here. So basically the entire yacht now is pretty much ready from a technical perspective to be able to navigate. When a super yacht's being built, generally speaking, the shipyard will finish one particular area and then close it off. So I can't go onto the sun deck at the moment because all of the teak has already been laid and so that now is closed. It's a pretty much a finished area. As a matter of fact, when I was here five minutes ago, this teak wasn't here. So already they're laying the teak now on the side decks, on the upper deck, uh, again, so that they can finish the yacht off and then get on with the important work of painting the hull. I'm in the pilot house at the moment. Not a lot has been said about this particular area of the yacht, which is amazing because it's one of the most special design features that the wider 150 has. You can't really see too much at the moment, apart from the fact that all of the wiring is already in place. Now there's tens, possibly up to 50 kilometers of wiring and cabling on this yacht alone. So it's a massive job to do. The fact that all of the first fixed wiring is and cabling is now in place is great news. But just have a look at what this bridge is going to look like when it's finished. I'm on the Sky Lounge at the moment which is a, a massive area and a big feature of the yacht and here a lot of the work is almost finished. The first fix electrics are finished so the cabling's in, the air conditioning has been installed, the plumbing has been installed. These are finished um, ceiling panels here, they're under protective covers at the moment so you can't see what they'll look like. Um, the glass is already downstairs because I saw it earlier for this huge window here which will let in a lot of natural light. So they're looking pretty good to, uh, for the launch, which will be just in a, in a couple of months' time. I mean, the enormous space that will be the master stateroom on the yacht, and it really is one of the uh, crowning glories of this particular vessel. Here we've actually got some finished cabinetry already uh, to be... Uh, wrapped up and protected until the day of delivery. Once again, the panels on the ceiling are finished. Um, the sliding balcony has been installed. As you can imagine, the actual cabinetry, the bed, the, the closets are, are being already constructed off-site. So they're just preparing this area now for all of those finished units to be bought in and fitted into place. The cabins are all pretty much in the same condition as this one that you can see here. What they try to do is do all of the um, preparation work first. So all the wiring is already fitted. The ceiling panels are not quite finished yet, but they're almost in place. Again, air conditioning is already fitted. Plumbing's already fitted into the really large uh, master bathroom there. The windows have been secured. Again, so it's just ready for the cabinetry to come and be put into place. Something worth mentioning about this area as well is that um, an outside consultancy company was um, brought in to study the lighting um, in the yacht. It makes such a difference if you have nice lights in the right position with the right sort of angles. So these um, slits in the ceiling that you can see here are actually for little hidden lighting features which I think are going to add a lot to the ambience of the cabins when they're finished. <laughs> I finished by taking a look at the transom door, which is such a spectacular feature on the wider 150. They built an outside frame with aluminium that lifts with these powerful pistons, allowing the tender to actually sail right inside the yacht into the tender bay. 
The inside of the door will be made out of carbon fibre and that has a separate mechanism to open that part of the door. 